So this video here has been suggested that it's some kind of uh, flying craft uh, high above the clouds. Now, I think the more likely explanation is it's just a uh, V of flying birds that's actually below the clouds. A problem with that explanation is uh, why does it seem like it's going behind these dark areas here? Now, these dark areas are actually open sky, which appears as black because they're cold. Uh, the flying objects, which I think are birds, are heat sources, so they appear as white dots, and the clouds are also warmer than the, the cold sky, so they, they also appear as white. So it kind of looks like it's going behind these, which doesn't make any sense. So some people suggested that it's projecting heat onto the clouds, but I think it's actually below the clouds, and I'll explain why I think that. So what, what I'm going to try to do is try to kind of simulate what's going on here. So I've taken this one frame of the video just so I get these clouds here, and here's the V after it's flown by and it's over some clouds. I'm going to take uh, this image here, which is a V of some birds, and I'm going to kind of simulate it as uh, infrared like this. Uh, I'm going to add it to the image, and I'm going to scale it so it's a similar size to the uh, V we see in the image, like this. So similar kind of size and shape. Now, uh, this is a very sharp image, and we can see this is a very blurry image. So what I'm going to do is apply a blur to it, uh, which I'll do here with a Gaussian blur, and just adjust it until we get some kind of similar type of uh, blurriness to the image there. Um, and you can see there's a lot of separation here between the dots, which we don't see here, which could be explained by there simply being more birds in this, this image than in this image. But let's go with this. Now, uh, because we're just having sources of heat and it's blurred, the best way of simulating how this will appear in the image is to use the uh, linear dodge add filter, which just adds the brightness of the dots to the image. And we can see the effect of this when we move it around. If we move it over these uh, darker areas here, we see when the dots are blended in, because they're adding their heat to the heat of the background, and because it's blurred, they're essentially transparent, what we get is when they go over the dark areas, they look a lot darker. Um, now, if we just reduce the opacity of this a little bit, uh, we can see that we would see it looking like these dots are moving behind the dark areas when they move over them when they move over the clouds it looks like they're moving in front of the clouds you can see them very faintly here but you can also see these uh, dots quite faintly when they move over the dark areas if we move back to that position and i turn on this adjustment level to brightness brighten the contrast you can see they're actually there they're actually moving through that dark area they're just a lot darker themselves so i think it's the same thing as is going on here where this is moving over the dark area because it's adding its heat to the heat of the sky you're getting much darker dots and they're transparent again because they are blurred and that i think explains what's going on here